Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm here to do Wednesday's haul. I stopped in the Tuesday morning on a whim after a treatment and found a few things, which is rare. Uh, this is not the Tuesday morning that I normally go to, so I think I got a little lucky. I probably would have gotten more, but there was this lady in the aisle. Their aisles are very narrow, and she was in the aisle messing with the... Um, alcohol markers I don't even know what brand they were I don't know what she was doing but she kind of had the aisle block so I couldn't even get to the markers to see what was going on with that but I was able to find a few things I found these stencils for two dollars there were other patterns these are Heidi Swap by the way there were other patterns and I thought that maybe this um, smaller one was a little overpriced but their stencils is something that I can use repeatedly over and over again. And Heidi Swap, Swap does make good quality products. So I went ahead and purchased that. Then I also got this paper pack for $1.99. Um, it's 12 sheets of paper. It's Heidi Swap. And really I got it because of this graph paper and the florals. The floral on the graph. Um... I don't usually buy paper packs like this. I usually would prefer to have a paper pad, but the price was really good and I like the patterns on the papers. So let's take a quick look. So these are not cardstock weight, which is good. I can use them in journals, but they are a nice quality um, weight of scrapbook paper and they are double sided which is even better so I think I made a good choice and I may go back and get another pack because I think this is totally worth it but these are what the papers look like and then I think it just repeats yeah so I think that was a really good deal so, and that's Hello Beautiful, Tuesday morning. I'd seen this paper. I don't know what store it was in that I saw it. And I wanted it, but I did not buy it. And I'm glad that I was able to actually find it in Tuesday morning. So, I guess this was an all Heidi Swap Tuesday morning haul. I didn't even realize that everything was Heidi Swap. But, yeah, I haven't purchased paper, a paper pad in a long time. It seems like... Michael's does is it's not doing so great with the hot buy papers lately. So I don't know. So this is what the papers look like. It's pretty neutral. It's nice. Very neutral, subtle again would make nice journal pages it's not an overly heavy cardstock but it is a cardstock that it's like Heidi Swap does a lot of more organic um, nature type designs mixed in with bold contrasting design so and I think this just repeats yeah so I got that paper pad and I can use this to make all types of things um, not just for journals dividers um, it's just that my mind is on journals right now because I'm making journals I went to Walmart yet again and found these pen and gear dashboard sticky notes I've already taken this one out because I wanted to test to see if the sticky notes actually work. As you may know, there is some issue with uh, non-name brand sticky notes sticking, if you know what I mean. So, I did, this was part of the packaging. I did peel off a couple of the sticky notes and they stick well, very well. And what I liked about these is the fact that they don't have a design that takes over the whole sticky note so that you end up with no room to write. They do stick, which is great, but there's also plenty of room to write. This is the other one that I got. And they are 
punched it seems to fit in the pen and gear notebooks but you could always trim this off and repunch for whatever notebook you need to use it with say if you need the happy planner or a six ring binder or some other type of binder you could use it that way or you could just slide it into a pocket of your traveler's notebook it also had this packaging in there that you could actually use as a template for another type of top tab if you're laminating a piece of scrapbook paper to use as a dashboard you could just trim it down to the size that you need and it has that tab for you and here is an example of a sticky note that I picked up a while ago from five below that is not really functional because there's nowhere to write I didn't even think of that at the time that I picked it up I mean you can write over this area here but you miss all the area where it says I care as far as space to write on and it still makes it a little difficult to read what you write unless you use a really bold pen also these sticky notes have that adhesive residue from the note previous so when I pull this off I can feel the residue from the sticky on here and that interferes with writing up there as well but that's just an example with these I don't feel that so the pen and gear sticky notes seem to be okay I have purchased some plain ones previously and they work great too so that's it about the sticky notes I just wanted to also share that this this is a Fobonichi that I made myself using the Dollar Tree cut mats and just some Happy Planner mini discs. And this is what I've been using to do my general planning in. But anyway, I just on a whim decided to test this out to see if it would actually fit on the disc. And it does. It's not perfect, but it fits and it turns just like a regular page would on discs. So you it's just up to you where you position it so I've had it all the way to the bottom I had it like this I think this is the way I like it best where it's just I skip the first hole and then just push it on for the rest of the holes that way when I close it oops. oh I didn't have that one on are they all on okay so that way when I close it I can still see the tab at the top if I need to because you can use this kind of like a place marker so you can mark your place for instance <laughs> I can put it here then have my sticky notes right there when I'm planning or planning for the next week or like I said use it to mark my spot so that it's getting a little thick but so that I can see where I am right away just flip to where I need to be anywho just thought I would share that even though it is punched to fit a different type of notebook it does work on the disc I'm pretty sure it would work on classic and let's see I have a classic notebook right here so yeah it works exactly the same because the discs are the same uh, spacing on all of these disbound systems so it would work just fine in a notebook in a classic happy planner and probably a big too so just want to share that I also picked up this ruler it's a metal ruler and if you know anything about metal rulers they can be fairly expensive it does have a stencil embedded but I'm not really interested in the stencil but I did get one with arrows they had one with um, speech or comment bubbles which I never I didn't think I would use that for anything so it is a nice weight a stainless steel ruler I'm sure this would be great for cutting washi but it can also just slide into your notebook to take along it's you know very thin and I thought it would be great for use with an exacto knife especially in your planner because it's not really a good idea to cut against a plastic ruler and I have a metal ruler it's 18 inch and I also have a 12 inch metal ruler but I'm suspicious of that 12 inch ruler I don't think that the markings are accurate so I'm gonna try this one out it has the inches and centimeters on it too which is a bonus even though I said no more washi from Walmart, they got me with this one. 
because of the black confetti and the florals. Um, so I'll be using this in one of my upcoming spreads. I may use it in a from scratch spread. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I picked up this washi. It says enjoy today on the bottom one. This is black and gold confetti. It's got a floral. Then it says okay, okay Monday, let's do this. And then the other floral that matches the pen case from Pen and Gear. They also have a notebook with this design on it. And I think there was something else I saw with that black and white striped floral design on it. But So I picked that up. I'm still looking for, they have a washi tape with a monthly calendar on it. So I'm still looking for that. If you watched my videos, you probably seen me using a Dollar Tree planner for my social media planner. And I've done a few plan with me's in that on the channel. A few of you have mentioned that you weren't able to find the planners in Dollar Tree. Well, I went to Dollar Tree and they have actually put out the 2020 planners already in the Dollar Tree that I went to. They had a huge stack of them. And so I picked up one so that I could get ready for next year. Usually every year I pick up several. This year I said I'm only going to get one. So I got that one, the monthly planner, then there's the weekly planner. So this is what it looks like. This is the same as the planner that I've been using. And that was the this is what the months look like. Then we have the personal size. When I picked up the personal size last year, I wasn't able to find a monthly. I don't know that they make a monthly in the personal size, um, but this is what the weekly looks like. It does have the split weekends, so if you don't like that, this might not be a good fit for you. But this is a nice little um, planner to just toss in your purse. Even with the cheesy little covers on them, they're not that bad if you can you know get the color that you like they have navy blue they have a burgundy color and they have black and they also have a bigger one that looks to be probably classic size or letter size and I think that that one is monthly also so planning on a budget Walmart washi Dollar Tree planner the washi let me give you the prices the dashboards are $1.88 the washi was $1.88 the ruler was $1.88 and we already know Dollar Tree everything's a dollar or less so these were a dollar so also from Dollar Tree I found some new stencils so these you can use for um, your art journaling uh, mixed media projects art projects uh, just regular journaling so I found these self adhesive stencils so they kind of stick to your page and then you do whatever you're going to do paint through them ink through them or however you're going to use them. You can use them to create textures on your projects. Whatever. But for a dollar, I think that's a very good deal. They got kind of wrinkled up in the bag. But um, they will flatten out. They're flexible. Then I found this one. It's not really my style. But I wanted to be able to show these, this to you with the fox. The owl says little friends. Has a little bird. A heart. And a raccoon. Then this one says love. Daydream. Hello. Sunshine love and happiness do what you love love what you do I like that then this one I think is my favorite with the feathers and then they had one with alpha and numbers I thought this would make for nice backgrounds they also had another one with alpha that were in little squares I didn't really like that one that much I didn't like that one enough to buy it so I left it and I figured I only need one alpha so but this is what they look like and these should be fun to play with so I'll just add them to my stencil notebook I have a notebook with all of my stencils so I'll add that in there so I went to Dollar Tree again um, and I did see that they have some new stationary items out they still have the same look to them as stationary items that they've had in the past and I will show you here some of what I found Dollar Tree is at it again they have inserts 
they have a book band. They got some different stickers. They got folders. This is cute. so you can see. They got these sticky notes. They got these stickers. They got the magnetic clips and the page flags. This three set, a set of three rather, tab dividers. But I did go ahead and pick up the dividers because I was interested in these to repurpose for something else uh, because I don't use a three ring binder, but I think I could use these in my A5 if I just washi tape over the holes or I could make a cover for something else with them I just have a few ideas or I could use them and make dashboards just trim them down to make dashboards if I can get them out but I want I was intrigued this is not a heavy weight so I mean this isn't I don't even think this is as heavy as cardstock it's more of a heavy scrapbook paper feel to it very thin but again I could trim this down and use it for a dashboard insert for example, this is the dashboard that came with the journal kit from Pen and Gear uh, from Walmart. So, and it comes with these dashboards or inserts that slide into this. But what if I can use this, trim it down, and make my own to fit in there? And I think I could do that just barely, trim off those holes. Or do something like that or use one of my um, laminated dashboards to do the same thing so that's kind of what I was thinking with this because they are automatically double-sided even though they say the same thing on both sides it's really not that big of a deal and this you know I love a floral on a dark background so this is just this makes me wish I would have picked up two <laughs> but that's what they are again they are not the best quality but the designs are nice then i also picked up from that collection the uh, folders they got me with the buffalo plaid um i just was like okay i have to buy this i don't know how i'm going to use it yet but i need it it was a dollar for two folders these are these are pretty nice um I'm thinking that maybe I can trim it down and use in my A5 traveler's notebook. Either I would use it for a cover for this mini uh disbound planner. Well it's not a planner, it's a notebook. I took all the planner stuff out and just put some note paper on this. So either I can use it for a folder for this which I really don't need because it already has a folder or I can figure out how to put this together to use it as some type of folder inside I don't know or maybe I'll just washi tape the edge put this save this for my Christmas planner and put that in there in my uh, in an A5 ring bound but I was intrigued by the pattern by the design the designs I love so and then for a dollar you know I've already shown the other planners that I found at Dollar Tree well I picked up one of the bigger ones so that I could give you the measurements and dimensions of it and also I'm thinking about playing around with doing a spread in it even though it is 2020 um, 
it's a 2020 monthly I was thinking maybe I could do something with it now I don't know but anyway let's go ahead and measure it is about seven and a half by ten so it is bigger than the classic size but I think you could actually take this out and punch it and put it in a classic do I have a classic size something nearby so this is just the wrong wrong um, happy notes so this is how much it is too big let's take a sheet out oh yeah it's too big that would have been perfect but it would fit in a, um, a big if you have a big disc bound and you want to put it on disc it would fit or you could just put it on disc as is and use it that way or leave it like this it just depends um, it does look like it gives you almost enough to punch let's see let's check one more thing just want to see if the punch would interfere with the boxes yes it does if you use the happy planner punch let's see about something that was punched for the arc system so these pages I punched for arc so let's see if the arcs you could punch I think with arc and just barely touch the boxes so if, if having a hole in your box is an issue to you I would use the arc punch and probably the tool punch would be end up being the same way so there's that yeah the happy planner punch would interfere with the box it would punch inside of the box the arc punch does not well it barely touches the box so if you're picky about those things then you know so anyway this is just a basic calendar with contact space in the back so if you like videos like this please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye